beautiful morning out here at the cabin in Mont Bazou. Bonjour, mon ami. Comment ça va? We are hanging out in the cabin. We got a little poutine problem over here, too. Um, Leo, what are you doing, bud? Good boy. All right, we got to get you home. You're probably super hot. Wait a minute, actually. Oh, no, we forgot to bring the food. Come on, Leo. We got to get you home for, for food. Oh, wait a minute. We're fine. Hey, bud. Here you go. All right, all right. What are we looking at? Buddy? Oh, he's contemplating things. Okay, well, we're going to we're gonna pack up and get going, bud. So you might want to hop in. You look a little little off today, bud. You okay? <laughs> You're doing all right? Yeah, so me and Leo, we're going back to the house. We decided to have a little camp at the end of last episode, which got demonetized. And I'm not sure why. I asked them to review it. They reviewed it. They said, nope, it's got inappropriate content. I'm not sure what that inappropriate content was. But, yeah, you know what? I, 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 I love YouTube. They've changed my life significantly. But their communication is wretched, man. Like, they, they don't tell you anything. You know what I should do, by the way? I should swing by town on my way home. And, uh... Pick up more curds. Oh, oh no. Come on, come on, Leo. Hang on there, bud. Hang in there. We're going to be all right. Okay. Because we can just head right out of here, I think, and get to town eventually. Okay, perfect. Excellent. <sighs> you know, I got accused of copying Komodo Gaming. And as much as I have a lot of respect for Komodo, and I do, I, I think the guy is an amazing YouTuber. Uh, I don't watch his content. I have no time to watch other people's content <laughs> anymore. Uh, since I started doing this every day, it, it's nearly impossible. Uh, and the only content I really watch on YouTube is um, uh, Neebs Gaming, because I love those guys. And uh, Splitzy I'll watch quite a bit if you like. If you're into... Whoa, jeez. Whoa! Oh. Can we get... Um. Okay, just... Could you go back there for a sec? Okay, what, what is going on here? What are we stuck on? Okay. Um, I think the Neebs Gaming guys I really enjoy, like I said. Uh, Split Seal Watch, if you're into Space Engineer's content, he's your guy. Uh, and he's a pretty good builder. He's not, he's not the best builder out there, but he can figure most things out. And that's, so that's nice to see him, like, you know figure things out from time to time but even then i watch split c once a week because he's got a series i watch uh and i watch neebs gaming uh for certain series of theirs so i like their uh seven days to die series quite a bit so like but other than those two particular things i don't really watch a bunch of other youtubers um very rarely so uh i wouldn't and i would never knowingly copy somebody that's just so rude and in fact, I've given, uh, we have a, a young man in our audience. I won't uh, give away his name. Let's just say his, it's B Nugget. No, 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 no. Bone N. Anyway, who copied my outro? And I give him all sorts of crap for that. And I'm joking around, but like, I, I never let him forget it. <laughs> because it's, it's just, you don't do that, right? Um, and like I said, it's just a joke. Like, I don't hate the guy at all. In fact, he shows up quite often in our Discord. But... Yeah, like, I would never do that. To be accused of it, it's almost, like, strange to me. I don't know why I would do that. Why would you ever copy somebody else's content? Okay, you need to go back. You you know what? That thing stayed back there perfectly happy forever. <laughs> it never came forward once. And now, it's just flying all over the place. We also need fuel, I noticed. Um, whoa. Uh, we can get back to town, though, on it. Do we want to stop and get fuel while we're here? Well, yeah, we might as well. Besides, we gotta check the mail anyway. Uh, it's one of those days. Okay, is that parking brake on? I don't know. Uh, no, it is not. Now, remember when getting your mail, you gotta watch out for Mr. Bonjou. Uh, that guy will come and steal your car and your girl all at the same time. So, be careful. That's a class act, that Mr. Bonjou. He knows what he's up to. Ugh. Bonjou, come on, ça va? Okay, wait here, Leo. I'll be right back. I'm just gonna go check the mail. I've got to have mail by now. 
Hmm, this is me. Oh, here we go. What do we got? Yep, yeah, I'm gonna put this in here. And in you go. All right, perfect. Boy, we're getting expensive here. This is more than my current bill. <laughs> this is 2005. All right. It's all the lights I run constantly. <laughs> okay, perfect. All righty. And we will stop right here. Okay, excellent. And off we go. Perfect. All right, let's get this open here. Take this off like this and grab that. There we go. I discard chew through a lot of fuel very quickly. Uh, mostly because I drive the ever living crap out of it. So it, it is helping the situation. Jeez, this thing actually needed quite a bit of fuel. There we go. Yeah, my new car runs premium, and it was a hundred and some dollars to fill the tank the other day, and it wasn't even empty. <laughs> it wasn't even close to empty. Let's see. Do I want anything? What's up, boys? Hmm, maybe a little uh, Bob, clandestine poutine or um, maple syrup here. What are those? Huh. Okay, now where was I? Oh, you know what? I don't need. I get. I'll take coffee, man. I'm not a big coffee guy, but I'll take it. All right, what's this? Oh, it's a. It's a. Uh, Brass knuckle gear shift knob. All right, let's just, this is fine. All right, let's get out of here, Leo. We got to get you home. You're going to get hungry and thirsty soon. So, okay, let's see. And yeah, we'll stay in third. I don't see the problem here. Ah, perfect. Hold on, Leo. We're cutting across the lawn here. Excellent. Mr. Bonjou, what's going on, buddy? This is one of those engines that if you're sh like if you're shifting before four grand, you're d you're not doing the engine justice. <laughs> okay. Uh, it still plows though. It's still a very front, front heavy car. Excellent. Okay. Still in fourth. That's all right. That'll do. Excellent. Should we go get planters today? I don't know. Maybe that's what caused it. Maybe that was the, the thing that put it overboard. Who knows? That's why I'm kind of doing this episode, too, is to see if it uh, gets demonetized again. I'm curious. I'm not worried about demonetization. I can care less, but it's just... Ugh. I got to go out of my way to get myself in trouble, but uh, I've never worried about trouble that comes my way. I would never do anything stupid to get myself in trouble. If you want to make it on YouTube, you have to give up certain parts of your stuff to do it. Like, unless you uh, absolutely don't care about getting paid, then that's that's cool, too. But if you want to be one of the big YouTube guys, you know, there's certain rules you got to follow. And one of them is is that, you know, you got, you got to watch your language to some degree and you got to... Now, people always say, oh, I wouldn't watch my language. Uh, to put that in perspective... Oh. To put that in perspective, I could have sworn I had another one. Maybe it fell out. Um, Let's fill this up. One of my videos, I'm not going to get into which one, but one of my videos recently alone uh, made $800. So if you want to give all that up in a second, go ahead. Now, again, I'm not worried about money. I have a full-time job, so I, I, I really don't worry about stuff like that too much. But... You know, I'm not going to go out of my way to make it a problem either. <laughs> like, so, like, it's it's just one of those things. And again, I'm not bragging. It has nothing to do with that. There's people like, like, you can look at the views of my videos and see that. Just look at the people that, oh, no, make, like, you know, millions upon millions of views. Like, those guys would be out, like, a, like a bajillion dollars. Like, a real bajillion. I'm not sure how much a bajillion is. Um, It's a lot more than a million. I know that. So I'm not seeing, I could maybe I only bought the three and I, I thought I bought four. Yeah. <laughs> it probably fell out. We'll see it along the way. One day we'll be like, oh, there it is. But for now it's missing. So I think the potatoes are ready. Jeez. Every time I come back, there's something to do. Potatoes are ready to harvest. Just always potatoes. 
All right, here we go. Perfect. Go down here and grab the potato basket. Wait a minute. How are you guys doing? This is zero, 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 and zero. Nice. Okay, perfect. All right, let's get some potatoes. I think I'll collect them all before I start doing... Eh. Now, thankfully, I got those... Uh... Oh, this is full already. Ah, uh, that chipper downstairs to make french fries because this is make a laser. And I picked up a cheese curd, so we should be able to get curding. I wonder why they make you put the chipper in the basement. And then again, I guess, where would you put it upstairs? <laughs> like, that's a very, that's a good point, actually. Never mind. There isn't exactly a lot of room in the trailer here. Yeah. My mother said to me once, she says, because she watches my stuff. She says, well, that's not really a trailer. That's a modular home. So I said, I'm not trailer trash. I'm modular trash. And she didn't find that funny. I found it hilarious myself, but, you know, <laughs> she, she did not. Jeez, there's a lot of potatoes today, like more so than normal. What is going on here? Why are there so many potatoes? Okay, here we go. All right, let's just stack these in the corner. There we are. Perfect. Now let's get all these out of here. We'll use the leftover potatoes to feed the uh, fertilizing machine. Oh my goodness. Look at all these fries. Fresh fries. Oh, geez, that's great. How many did I get? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. That's not terrible. Okay, excellent. We'll pull one right from the middle at the bottom. Oh, there we go. How many have we got in there? 990 cheese curds. Because it's going to take, it takes 50 per. So. Uh, we'll get all these set up. We'll replant the potatoes. We'll water the potatoes. Okay. And then we'll uh, fill up the bedroom because, like, it's a good thing the potatoes came due because we were particularly low on poutine. So it's good that we have them uh, to refill our poutine problem that we're having. The end of the world happens. I want to be poutine rich, cash poor, you know. I'm, I'm an easy man to please, you know. All right, so that's like half of them up there already. That's good. Ugh. Oh, we're, I like how when you come up the stairs, if you hold them at a certain range, it automatically goes in the fryer through the door or through the wall. Yeah, works so pretty good. Look at these. Produit, commercial, com oh, commercial use. And you're right. My commercial, I, I basically have a commercial farm at this point. Excellent. And we'll grab, we got two more. Okay, no problem. We got this, we got this. And this can go in, you know, like this. And we'll start that up like that. And the last one. Sweet. Okay. So these potatoes that are left in here are going to go. Oh, that's filled right up. Okay. Well, that's fine. Ugh. Okay. And go. Excellent. So now as we continue our reign of poutine... And, you know, we, like I said, we always want to make sure we're not going to run out anytime soon. Oh, yeah. By the end of this episode, I promise the uh, eyelashes will come off the car. Because uh, I know people are very upset about it. So I'm going to make sure by the end of this episode, those uh, eyelashes will come off. All right. Let's get that in there. Perfect. All right. You can go there and you can go there. And you, and you. I'm glad you guys have been reminding me to buy the curd because I, I, I was forgetting there for a while and I got low. And you. Sweet. Excellent. Oh, get in there. All right, let's see. Ah. 
Yes, we need poutine storage. That's what we need. Or maybe we should be able to create vats of poutine. <laughs> Just 50 gallon drums of poutine. <laughs> I can save them for later. All right. Excellent. And then you go, and then you can go. I can't believe, though, we only get five poutine out of one of these commercial bags. Like, that's pretty nuts. How Does it say how much it weighs on the bag? It does not. But I'm going to say at least 10, what, 10 pounds, maybe? So these are two-pound poutines? Oh, that seems like a very hefty poutine, man. If you're ever in uh, Canada, you, there's a place you can go to called Smoked Poutinery, and they will, they're will they a chain, but they make some pretty interesting poutines. So if you're into trying new types of poutine, go there. Get it with extra curd, no matter what. Always the extra curd. You can never really have too much extra curd on a in a, uh, in a poutine, unless you hate cheese, or you're lactose intolerant. At that point, you're just eating gravy on french fries. I can eat one of my uh, living room poutines. There we go. Mm. What time is it? It's noon. We should probably have time to get the uh, the maple syrup truck down to town if we hurry a little bit. And oops, I thought I had it. There we go. Perfect. All right, just my my room of shame. Nobody else look at that. All right, perfect. Bears, bears. Oh no, we had to let him out. Oh yeah, we got to replant. Um, potatoes. There we go. <sighs> potatoes are going in the ground. Oop, there we are. Done. And we have 306 potatoes left. All right. Come on, bud. Let's go. Ugh. Let's go see where our truck is at. I don't think it's full because I don't see any uh, build up in there. How are we? Oh, this is barely. Oh, this has got. We, we don't even have to go do that today. Ugh. What time is it? It is 12. It's one o'clock. I think what we should do is take the truck. Let this thing fill up because it's not filled up at all. And then go get more planters and then come back because what else are we going to do? Okay, come on, Leo. Excellent. Okay. There we go. Oh, come on. Come on, grip. Get some traction. There we go. Let's go. All right. Oh. Ah. Ah. Okay. This feels a little out of control today. Know what it is. I've, I've mentioned it a few times, but I've been playing through um, the new Zelda game. And so I haven't been using any of my computer games at all. And so the mouse and keyboard feel a bit awkward at the moment. This takes me about an hour to get back into them. So I know this is where I, that's where I am. <laughs> so you guys like are, uh, who are you? Like, are you PC gamers? Are you console gamers? Tell me in the comments. That's the off road section of the course. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. That never happened. Just edit that out. All right. Perfect. Alrighty. Let's see here. I don't usually edit out my screw ups. Uh, unless it's like, well, no, I don't care about it looking stupid. I wasn't going to say that. It's like if, it, if it's going to take like, like two hours to correct it, I'll show the mistake and then I will, uh, get it corrected. Uh, and then cut back to where I've corrected the mistake. So you don't have to see the, the two hours of me figuring it out. I've done that a few times. All right. So where are we going? Uh, yeah, we're getting, uh, we're getting, what do you call those things? Well, we might as well drop this off while we're in town. Excuse me, coming through. Look out. Hey, there's my my curd. I saw it back there. I knew I'd find it if I went to town. And just if we can get these things all great. If we can do it all in one day, it's going to be great.
There we go. That's the wrong button. And now we spit. All right, here we go. I like the fact you can do the barrels and the big barrel. So for the really ambitious people out there, you can now do it all. You can do it all. Whoops. Whoops. Wrong button. There we go. Perfect. If I take, sometimes I'll take my hand off the keyboard to like shake my wrist or whatever to like loosen it up. And when I do that, sometimes I get back like on one set of keys over or something. Because <laughs> I'm not looking down, right? And, if, and then you'll like start hitting the wrong buttons or you can't turn or something. And it's really funny. All right, let me see here. Let's just stop this here. Uh, no, we're not going to set that. Come on. All right, where are we? All right, we're at Mel's. All right, Mel. Perfect. Okay, let's load these up and then we'll go grab the other ones. What time is it? Oh, we got time. Excellent. That can go there. Oh, sexulent. Nice, nice. And you can go here, like such. And you can go here. Perfect. And I wonder if I can squeeze you in right now. That'll work. And you right now. And then you right now. Sweet. All right, so we got three more. Ah. Oh, caught it. <laughs> okay. Why are you rolling backwards right now? Stop that. And now you're sliding a bit sideways. Eh, you'll be fine. Let's see here. Take this. You can go there, and then we'll put the other one on the other side. Now, I'm, I'm pretty sure some of those are going to fall out, but you never know. You know, sometimes they stay really well, and other times they do not. Yeah. Okay, I think we're as good as that's going to probably get. All right. Hey, Mel, what's going on? There we go. Perfect. All right. You have a great day, Mel. I'll see you around. I love you. All right. So she'll be mine one day. She'll, she'll, she'll come around to my, uh, my advances. All right. I try not to be pushy and you know? I don't want to freak her out. Okay. We got to go around the table there. Oh, oh, everything's jiggling. Everything. Oh God. Everything's jiggling. It's like Santa Claus up in here. All right. Uh, okay. Stay. Don't. Okay. Just stop there. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. All right. Perfect. I like the random one that's not exactly like the others and it's upside down. Well, bye, Kurt. I'll come back for you someday. I promise. Oh, yeah. Look at this thing. He's just wanting to tip. He wants just to tip. All right. Oh, no. You gonna you gonna do just the tip, bud? Okay, there we go. Come on. Oh no, we lost one. <sighs> Again, I struggle to remember controls some days because I'm playing so many different car games, all that have different controls. Okay, this one's coming in with us, Leo. You all right, bud? Wear that like a hat, would you? All right, we're good. Nobody has to know that that happened. Sweet. Don't tell anybody you saw that. If you tell anybody, I'm going to have to kick you out of the herd. All right. There we go. Oh, okay. Yep, we're going to lose another one. We keep driving like that. Stay there, please. Thank you. I like that one in the back just, just wiggling around. Uh, like it's like it's just, just wiggling around back there. Excellent. Okay. Okay. Just relax. Just relax. Everything is awesome. I've been playing that Lego ra oh, racing game more and it's pretty good actually. Like I, I'm not going to lie to you. It's like, if you like Mario Kart, it's, it's right up that, you know, And we're 
we're back in. All right. You know, this is not my work. Oh, look at that. We just held up traffic. Okay. Well, we did. I guess we did a little bit. Serves them right for the amount of times they've cut me off coming out of here. Ah, buddy. Jeez, this guy's in a hurry. Oh, no. Oh, there it goes. Okay, well, here we are again. Okay, Max. Or Max, that's the cat's name from the long drive. Oh, God, it's rolling away. It's ro <laughs> I was hoping it wouldn't do that. Okay, stop, 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 stop. Stop, 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 stop. stop. Oh, my God, it's not stopping. What the hell? You don't want to put the parking brake on when you're carrying cargo. Okay, let's get in here. Because it just makes it want to fall out. That'll work. Okay, perfect. Oh, God. Oh, no, 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 no. Get to the property. Oh, no. <laughs> this is not a great place to park, but it'll do for now. All right. Stop. Ignition off. Out of the car, please. Come on, Leo. You got to get out of the car, bud. <sighs> we sure made a mess of this place. All right. We should probably do something about that trailer one day. I'm surprised nobody's ever mentioned it before. All right. Tab this in, and we're going to plant our... Or not plant our planters, but place, place our planters. Can you plant planters? Grow more planters. That's the way to do it. You grow your own planters, everybody wins. Wait a minute. Oh, no, that's fine. We're good. Yeah, and this one. I'm always torn between bringing them all down first. I, like, I don't think it, like either way saves a whole bunch of time, but... I think it's probably about the same, but I don't know. I feel like this, like I always want to do it like one at a time and place them, but I always feel like this is the better way to do it. Like this is the way. It's very Mandalorian of me. Mm. I'm going to be saying that for the rest of my life, no matter what. And you know what's weird? I'm not even a big Star Wars guy. Like I don't, I don't, like I, I enjoy Star Wars, but I'm not like a huge super fan, but that'll stick with me <laughs> to the dead. This is the way. Hmm. There we are. All right. Yeah, I definitely got to move that trailer someday. One day. I just, you know what? Like, I never know where to put it. I've had it around the side. I've had it behind. I've like, it's been everywhere. And when I think about moving it, it's like, I'll just do it. I'll just do it next episode before I start playing. And then I forget. And then I start playing. It's like, oh, yeah, I should move that trailer. Trailer. We should get the truck back over to scoop up the Murple Circle, which is done running. So we should be all right there. I don't think I would have filled up that thing. All right, let's get these in place. And that can go there and this. All right, perfect, perfect. Now, rumor has it, too, you can sell the uh, big bags of potatoes to the poutine shop. So if if they're demonetizing me based on my oregano, I could always switch all this over to potatoes. <laughs> I could have a giant potato crop and sell that over there. But harvesting all those potatoes would be such a pain in the butt. Unless they make you do big packs of potatoes, you know, like huge ones. That would be cool. All right, there's this. This is going into place now. All right, let's move that trailer. Since we have time today in this episode, we'll move that trailer. Let's fertilize again. Perfect. This is good. Okay. Excellent. All right. Put the fertilizer in here like this. Oh, it's full. All right, how much is this? 
Excellent. All right, so this is going to do its thing. So we're going to go take the truck. Oh, we got one more. Jeez, I forgot about the one inside. I thought that felt a little quick. All right. Good times. There. That one was off kilter. Excellant. And we'll plant when the next harvest comes in. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. All right. Let me see here. I'm going to turn this on. Okay. Since I never used this trailer, it may be beneficial to put it down by the... I just need you to push it, push it out of the way a little bit. You're going to be fine. It's just paint. Eh. Okay, was that even going to work, do you think? Maybe. Let's put the parking brake on and we'll find out. All right. Oh, you're going to get it, bud. Don't you worry. We got it. All right, nice. Leo. I can't. Look out, Leo. I'm going to run you over, bud. <laughs> Leo, where are you going? I realize I got my parking brake on. Okay. Come on in, bud. And we're going to go around here like this. And we will drop this off over here. I think this is the entrance. Perfect. All right. And we'll park this trailer over here somewhere where it's not going to cause us any trouble. What are, this has been like a, one of the better productive days I've ever had. Yeah, where nothing's gone super wrong. Excellent. You're going to stay there all right? Yeah, you're fine. Nice. And in we go. And, oh, can't reach that door. So that's pumping in there. But it should be. We do need some Merple Serple of our own. Excellent. And that is, this has gone so well today. I don't even know what to say about it. <laughs> it's just, it was the whole day. We got, oh, we got another 120 liter barrel here. But maybe we can hang on to that. Oh, no, Leo, you got to come out, bud. Come on, buddy. Can we get a whistle button so we can whistle them towards us so we don't walk them in places? That'd be great. Take the bears, bears, bears. And truck is loading. I would love to be able to see the sight glass is not. Eh, it's got some. No, nothing to write home about anyway. All right, look at that. Well, that reminds me, how many charges left in this? Two. Uh, you know, I never play my Switch in handheld mode. Like, never have, probably never will. Oh, these need watering. Crap, I always forget something, you know what I mean? There we are. Oh, there we go. And excellent. Okay. Oh, then we need water in the dog bowl now, too. Jeez. Speaking of which, how's this one? This one's still got food in it. He never eats out of that one. All right. Well, let's go, uh, Close this up. Turn off the interior lights. I'm going to leave the exterior lights on. I do, I do like a light on so I can see what's going on outside. Come on, Leopold. Ugh. Come on. There you go. Good boy. All right. So let's go. Uh... Oh, no. Oh, 
Still can see a corner. Uh, uh, poutine dreams. Champagne nightmares. Okay, where is it? Uh, it's midnight. Should probably sleep to the next day here. There we go. Perfect. All right. I wish I could wake up at any time, but it doesn't let you. There we go. Uh, come on, Leo. Let's get a little snack going on. There you go. That's because I like you, buddy. I'll leave the door open door policy for you, bud. There you go. You go play. Get your head out of the counter. It's like having your head in the clouds except more dog. All right, so I'm going to end this episode here. So thank you so much for watching. If you like this, please leave a comment. Maybe subscribe. Maybe tell your friends to subscribe. Maybe tell your friends how I'm going to take the eyelashes off in the next episode. And if you didn't like this, well, you should probably find yourself a real YouTuber because I'm not much of one. Thank you again so much for watching. Love every view I get. Scapegoat! I've been through so many holidays with Santa Goat. You're welcome. Out.